Leon Draisaitl's path to the NHL may be the most bizarre in NHL history, and his off-the-ice lifestyle is just as surprising. He'll drop it for Nurse. One-timer Draisaitl from an impossible angle. Now Draisaitl scores! Draisaitl from an impossible angle! Let's quickly start things off with his background and his early career. Leon Tim Dreisaitl was born on October 27, 1995 in Cologne, Germany. Dreisaitl's father, Peter, played hockey for the Deutsche Ice Hockey Liga and even appeared in three Winter Olympics with the German national team. At age seven, he quit hockey and focused on soccer, but the experiment was short-lived. A few years later, he left to join the Alder Mannheim under-16 team. In his final season, Dreisaitl potted an insane 192 points in just 29 games. Yeah, you heard that right. After joining the under-18 team, he recorded 56 points in 35 games and was named the league's Player of the Year. That would be his final season in Germany as he decided to leave for North America. He was selected second overall in the 2012 CHL import draft by the Prince Albert Raiders. In his second season, he recorded a total of 105 points in 64 games to lead the Raiders in scoring by a wide margin. This led to him being drafted third overall by the Edmonton Oilers in the 2014 NHL Draft. Dreisaitl signed a three-year entry-level contract with Edmonton worth $10,200,000. Perron, out in front, quick shot, Dreisaitl, another chance, he scores! His first National Hockey League goal! Though halfway through the NHL season, the Oilers sent him back to the WHL, and the Prince Albert Raiders then traded him to the Kelowna Rockets. Dreisaitl helped the Rockets to the 2015 WHL Championship, where he was named Playoff MVP after scoring 28 points in 19 games. Back for Dreisaitl, he scores! He also won the Stafford Smythe Trophy as Memorial Cup MVP, although the Rockets lost the championship final to the Oshawa Generals. Time to talk about his NHL career and achievements. He drastically improved his point totals the following year, and he also scored the last ever goal at Rexall Place. The following year, Dreisaitl and McDavid powered the Oilers, ended a 10-year playoff drought, and clinched a berth in the 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs. And he scored his first postseason goal against the Sharks. The breakaway, stepping in, big chance. In the second round, with the Oilers on the brink of elimination, Dreisaitl scored a hat trick to force a Game 7. In the series finale, an impressive save on his backhand ended their postseason. Following the playoff success in 2017, expectations were high for the Oilers entering the following season. And that summer, the Oilers signed Dreisaitl to an eight-year, $68 million contract extension. Many viewed the signing as controversial at the time in terms of the dollar figure. That following year, Dreisaitl dealt with an injury that caused him to miss a few games and correspondingly saw his scoring slightly regress. The critics, who were mad about his contract, grew angrier. The team crashed down the standings and missed the playoffs, though after head coach Todd McClellan and GM Peter Chiarelli were both relieved of their duties, Dreisaitl had a new career best in point production. He broke 50 goals and 100 points on the season. The following year, he eclipsed teammate Connor McDavid in point production and was subsequently named an alternate captain. He put up 110 points in the shortened season, securing the Art Ross Trophy as the leading scorer for the year. He was also awarded the Hart Memorial Trophy and the Ted Lindsay Award. They later fell to the Blackhawks in the bubble, a team that only made the playoffs due to the expanded format. Dreisaitl finished the following season second in league scoring behind McDavid. They were unexpectedly swept by the Jets in the first round of the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. He notched 20 points in the first 10 games the following season and finished the year with a career best 55 goals. The Oilers advanced in the 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs to meet the Los Angeles Kings. They avoided elimination, but in the course of game six, Dreisaitl sustained a high ankle sprain in a scrum with Kings defenseman Mikey Anderson. Despite limited mobility, he suited up for Game 7, notched an assist, and helped the Oilers win the series. He was designated to the wing for the first Battle of Alberta playoff series in 31 years. Dreisaitl went off 
for 17 points in five games, advancing the Oilers to the Western Conference Final for the first time since 2006. The Oilers were defeated by the Colorado Avalanche in four games, bringing their postseason to an end. After the conclusion of the playoffs, the Oilers confirmed that he had been playing through a high ankle sprain since game six of the first round. He took the offseason to recover, and it paid off because what he did in 2023 just doesn't make sense. Steph Dreisaitl steals, stick handling, backhander, what a beautiful goal, top shelf. McDavid, Dreisaitl shoots and scores, finding a sliver of daylight underneath the bar. He put up 128 points for the season, finishing second in league scoring behind Connor McDavid. After helping to lift the Oilers past the Kings, he went off against the Knights. In game one of the second round, Dreisaitl managed a four goal game, though he was held off the score sheet in three of the final four games against the Golden Knights, and their season once again came to a disappointing finish. He started out the following season great once again. In the lead up to the playoff race, he notched the game tying goal and the game winner against the Bruins. Peaking now into his personal life. After leading the NHL in scoring in 2020, he went out and picked up this Genesis GV80. The luxury SUV set him back $83,000. He then went out and got their G90, which had a hefty price tag of $103,000, as well as a BMW X4 for $66,000. But just wait until you see his house, because he made sure to have his own personal gym installed, and he lives there with his girlfriend, Celeste Desjardins. They began dating back in 2018. She's a Canadian actress, most notable for her role in Taken. During the offseason, they take vacations around the world to places like Cabo and the Amalfi Coast and she's always been extremely supportive of his hockey career. Together, they got a Cavapoo named Bowie, and Leon admitted that he helps him practice on his off days. I try to dangle around my dog once in a while. <laughs> off the ice, he's great friends with David Pasternak and Connor McDavid, and they even hit Turks and Caicos during the All-Star break. Dreisaitl then crashed McDavid's interview with Nickelback. Are you a Nickelback fan as well? Uh... Yeah, big ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Now for some moments that caused some waves in Dreisaitl's career. Dreisaitl faced a little backlash after getting into it with this reporter. What do you think's the number one reason for the losses now? Yeah, we ha we have to get better at everything. Would you like to expand on that? No. Nope. Why are you so pissy, Leon? Hmm? Why are you so pissy? I'm not. I'm just I answering you. Yeah, you are. Whenever I ask you a question. He's also had several on ice controversies. His first ever fine came back in 2017. The refs threw him out of the game after he speared Chris Tierney. Later, the NHL fined him $2,569. More recently, some fans were left absolutely furious after this controversial hit against Bo Horvat. Some fans even went on to say he's one of the dirtiest players in the league. The NHL fined him $5,000. Now at this point, you must be getting excited about his earnings. Dreisaitl has seen some of his best production in recent years, so we're sure he'll sign much bigger contracts in the future. Having said that, his total career earnings to date are $61,756,000. Thanks for watching.